side Did I just say Skyrim? Oh my. Welcome back to my Wizard 101 side story. I am so sorry about that. Okay, anyways, um, we're going to rescue like a few people. Just a few. Um, I think we only need to rescue one or two people. One of them is probably right here. Wait, hold on. Okay. Ah, dang it. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we gotta try that again. This time, we don't run into anything. This time, Lindsay has to not be clumsy. Something is seriously wrong with me, and I probably may not know yet, but I probably might need help. Not really. <laughs> there we go. Can you help me? I'm lost. I don't know where everyone went after we ran away from the village. Um, there's a teleporter stone. It'll take you straight back there. Oh, that way? Yes. You have my thanks. I can find my way back to them. Dang, there are red claws everywhere. Oh my god. Do you know where the folk of Anders Holt went? I got separated from them when we fled, and now I can't find them. They're at a teleporting stone. Thank you. I owe you for your help. I'll be on my way soon. People went. They're over there. Thank you. I'll head back on my own. Okay, now to use that teleporting stone again. Those teleporting stones always come in handy. Found them? Good work. You've got some skill as a tracker, I see. And you're braver than I thought. You've aided us greatly, to be truthful. But if you want to defend us, now is the time. I can hear the sounds of the Red Claw informers in the woods coming this way. If they find us, we will suffer. Can you go and meet them in battle? You must defeat them before they find their way to this camp. Oh, well, I'll just do right here. Sorry, Scarlet, not right now. You have done well. If the Red Claw does not hear from the scouts, they will think we are long gone, or they will be afraid to attack us. Both ways, we are safe. It is as I feared. Another of our villagers is missing. The village elder, a wise man named Grimnir, stayed behind. Yeah, I saw him. The others say he refused to leave Anders Holt when the Red Claw attacked. He would not leave his home, saying he would await his fate there. Can you go to Anders Holt and see if Grimnir can be swayed to come to safety? Yes, yeah, sure why not. You're not one of the Red Claw. Why have you come? Why do you sound like this? Hedril Axebearer sent you? I'm sorry, but I will not leave this place. I have lived here my whole life, and no one can drive me away. 
You can help by taking a message to Eagle for me. Tell him that I've known Ivar Anderson since he was but a cub, and he would never willingly give aid to the Red Claw. Ivar is an honorable thane, and this village was founded by his grandfather and bears his name. He would never betray it. I suspect that Ivar must be under some dark enchantment. Go and tell that to Eagle Axbearer. He will know what to do. What? Well, great. One of those guys are blocking the way. Thank you. Why is there so much craziness going on in my house? What the heck? Oh, you've come alone. So it must be that Grimnir would not leave. That can't be helped. Grimnir says that Ivar is under an enchantment? It must be so. Ivar was an honorable thane before the Red Claw came to our land. Oh, I know little about enchantments, so I can do nothing for Ivar Anderson. You know the ways of magic. Can you look into this matter and see what can be done? An old Grindle wizard called Bolthorn lives in the boiling fields. He knows of enchantments and other dark magic. Go and speak to Bolthorn. And see if there's a remedy for the enchantment upon Ivar, our thing. Okay. This place has been more advanced since that step has. Approach, youngling. You are far from home. Far, far from home indeed. Say nothing. I already know what brings you to this place. You seek to break the spell put upon Ivar Anderson, Thane of Anders Holt. There is much you do not understand. Much that is hidden. I will aid you, but my answer is to a question you do not yet know to ask. My counsel does not come without a price, and it must be paid before answers will come. I want the claw of a brave warrior, one who okay. guards the weak. Go to Eagle Axbearer and ask this of him. Alright, just the small claw. I'm sure that won't hurt him because he's like a bear. He is a bear, though. Right? Yeah, he is. That crazy wizard wants one of my claws? If it will help my thane, then I will give it to him. Ejil grimaces and breaks off the smallest of his mighty claws. He hands it to you. It is a small price to pay if it will restore my thane to his old self. Alrighty. is a brave one indeed to surrender a claw so readily do not worry for him that lost claw will be a sign of his honor okay you will find your answers in the deepest crypt but you cannot enter that dark place without my help all Move right these three things geyser water from the boiling plains crypt bark from a decaying bog walker and slime from the death troll called Drek Darktooth. Okay. When you offer me these three things, I will tell you more. Alrighty. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to record that crypt place. Ugh. Hold well, on. Let's, um...
Alrighty, put a convert on to that. I really hope it does over 900. It's over 900! Oh my god. <laughs> With these three things, I will craft a salve for you. It is needed for what is to come. Take this salve I've made for you and smear it across your hands. The door to the crypt will be barred for you if you do not do as I say. You smear the salve on your hands. Your skin begins to tingle and then begins to itch a lot. Do not fear, Outlander, and do not scratch at it. It will wash away in a short time. Now. You must go to the crypt and retrieve a sacred talisman called the Eye of Truth. The Eye of Truth will show you what you cannot see. With it, you have what you need. Go now and trouble me no longer. Well, I will see all of you, Parson people, in the next video.